Good morning. So today is Monday and I am super tired. I am so either I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I don't know what it is, but I'm just so groggy today. Um, but I know today um, they're going to change our schedule today, so I'm interested to see what changes the administration made to our schedule. I know I'm going to have their reshifting and reshuffling our classes. This is the first time that I'm coming to a school where they are changing up our homeroom classes. Well, basically our classes because we're self-contained. They're changing up our classes like a few weeks after school starts. So I'm interested to see how everything will be changing and what students I get and what um, basically what major changes will be happening. So I know today we're going to have some shuffling around some schedule changes and I know that um, we're going to be focused on place value today in math using the hundreds, tens, and ones. Oh, and my phone is ringing. Yeah, and using the hundreds, tens, and ones and um, and the expanded form as well. We'll still we're still focused on place value, using uh, the hundreds digits, and then um, I know in in reading we are going to be starting a new unit, a new chapter. We're still going to be focused on asking and answering questions and focusing on the key details. And then with writing, we usually start a new writing prompt at the beginning of every week. And so um, I know with science, our students, we're still observing the different types of soil. I don't know if you can see in the background right here, <laughs> somewhere there, but I, um, last week we planted some beans. I don't know why beans, but to see how it'll affect, the different types of beans will affect, will be affected by the type of soil that they are in. So, um, Stay tuned. I don't know if you'll see me, if I'll be able to film again today with the schedule changes or um, later on this week. Bye. Hi. So I did not get a chance to chat earlier today. It, I, it was just crazy today. It's usually the case on a Monday. Um, but they did change our schedule. So it ended up being for the good. It actually... I actually prefer the way that they have the schedule now that they changed it before it was just like awkwardly placed and we I also we had to follow the schedule but um, I'm glad they did, they did change the schedule and so we got a lot done today my I feel, I feel very accomplished I got through what I wanted to get through and um, so yeah, it ended up being for the better. It's at the end of the day today. And actually my students created, we had our Hispanic Heritage Month project. And as you can see here, <laughs> some of my students went all out with their projects. So basically they had to research a country. They can pick whatever country they wanted to. Most parents, since they are um, from most of the Latin American um, Hispaniola countries. They just decided to do their own country where they were from. 
So most of my students actually got to learn a little bit more about where their parents came from and their heritage as well. So they got a chance to uh, tell us a little bit more about their buddies. And it was great that they were proud of their little buddies. I call them dolls because they actually look like dolls. But um, so today we just sat in a circle and they presented their their buddies to us and told us a little bit about their buddy and their families. And then later on this week, they're actually going to be presenting their project. So they had to write like a paper, so five interesting facts. They had to write the map, well, draw the map, the country, and the flag and the food and the culture and things like that. So um, that is what the, th that was the fun part for them, like actually making their, um, right there, <laughs> actually like making their buddies and showing us more of their buddies so hopefully today i get a little bit more rest or whatever it was the case may be and tomorrow will be a better day bye hi good morning today is day two today is tuesday and i feel so much better than i did yesterday um, yesterday I was just I don't know if you remember but I was so like I felt so tired so sleepy so groggy it didn't even make sense because I felt very well rested over the weekend on Sunday I took a nap and so um, yeah I just was not feeling it yesterday but today I woke up so energized today I woke up earlier than I did yesterday and um, yeah I woke up earlier than I did yesterday and I was able to spend some time with God did my devotion did my devotion and um, I talked with him as well and so I don't know I just feel energized I didn't drink any coffee or anything like that but I feel so much better than I did yesterday so um the we had a new schedule yesterday so they just shifted around our afternoon we had like intervention time and then um we had our recess late in the afternoon like right before dismissal so now they switched our recess time until after lunch and we had lunch early in the morning it's our lunch time is around our lunch time is at 10 30 to 11 and so we have our recess from 11 to 11 20 which is um better than right before dismissal in my opinion so um i feel like i had way more time yesterday i felt like i got a lot done and i really appreciate um how they switch our schedule at first i was a little bit apprehensive i didn't know how it was going to be and you know with changes there's it's either a positive change or a negative one but it ended up being a positive change so I am happy about that um, and so yeah so today we're going to um, continue to focus on um, our science um, talk about now we're talking about the weather and science and so uh, hopefully I, I can take them out and um, show them to see different types of soil because that's what we're finishing up that lesson on soil and um, they do their observations on I'm looking over here because their plants are over here oh wait can you see it hi today is Wednesday and today is teachers planning day so I actually came here early so I can leave early but the gate ended up being locked so I am um, set back a couple of minutes so actually last week we had we had a teachers planning day but um but the reason why we're having one again today on a wednesday is because we have a huge jewish population and today is yom kippur hopefully i said that right or yom kippur sorry if i'm not pronouncing that right but um they consider it teachers planning day because there is a huge population of jewish Jewish population and they want to be responsive to that population for the purposes of this holiday 
So, um, so we do have another teacher's planning day again today on a Wednesday. So we had another four day week this week. And so um, today, I know last week I said that I wanted to get around to my library and I'm hoping that I can get around to it today. Also, I am going to be working on creating my centers and making sure my rotations flow. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I created my rotations last week based on the data that I got from the test that my students took. But um, the rotations are not as fluid as I would like because I'm trying to accommodate the minutes that they're required to get on the computer for both math and reading in one day. Well, per day, they're supposed to be on for a certain amount of time and I'm trying to accommodate that. So um, I need to rearrange some things with my rotation schedule so I can accommodate those minutes that they're supposed to um, fulfill by each week. So um, I'm gonna be working on that. And then I have to work on like these professional development surveys that I'm supposed to do at complete at the end of any type of professional development that I may have um, took. And this was way back in the summer, so um, they just made the evaluations available last week. So I'm a little bit behind on that, so I want to get around to that today, this morning actually. And then I think I'm not going to stay. I'm not going to stay as long as I did last week. Last week I stayed for the entire time, but today um, I'm just going to get some things done that I need to get done like I want to have um, parent academic conferences with my my students parents because progress reports come out this week and I want to send home a letter with um, available times that they're available and times where I'm available so I am going to type that up and hopefully one of my teammates can translate it in Spanish so yeah um, that is what I'm going to get done. Hopefully I can um, tune in because I think yesterday I didn't, I did not close out yesterday because I had a parent that wanted to speak to me at the end of the day and so it went longer than expected. So I ended up not having time to close out yesterday, but um, today I think I will have time. Bye. Hi, so since this month is Hispanic Heritage Month and we do have a, a huge population of students who identify as Latino or Hispanic, we did a project in the entirety of second grade and students were supposed to research a country of their choosing, a Latin American country or Spanish speaking country and um, do their research like a little written report and at the same time, they were supposed to create their buddies as well. And the buddies that they created, which is like a miniature version of the Hispanic country that they researched, were so creative. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Buddies over here, <laughs> they're from Guatemala. And this one's right here, he's from Nicaragua. And just look at that. Like, look at what they came up with. She's from Guatemala. <laughs> and it's just so interesting on how they decorated their buddies. They created it. They were so creative in their buddies. And then we have... This little sir right here, he is from, let me think if I remember, um, Honduras. There you go. He said his parents are from Honduras. Look at his little sombrero, his hat. <laughs> they, like, their buddies, their buddies were so, so creative in creating their buddies. And this little sir right here, he is from Cuba. His parents are from Cuba, and he, he dressed up his buddy 
in a Cuban attire. And she, this buddy is Mexico. And so the way they created their buddies is using a bottle, like an empty water bottle. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's an empty water bottle. They were bottle. so proud of their buddies and they couldn't wait to present their buddies and tell us a little bit more about the country that they researched and they were just so excited to like they were beaming when I came and picked them up on Monday and yeah it just put a smile on my face that they're just so proud to let everyone know about their culture and their heritage um and so yeah it was like an exciting day hi so i officially got organized i typed up my parent conference letter i sent it to one of my teammates for her to translate in spanish i did my evaluations for my professional development and i created my new centers based on the data and my groups as well now um I am always responding to the data and what the data says. So I organized my small group binder to respond to my students' needs. So I made all these copies because um, the, the instructional tool that we use, it gives us a list of skills that our students, that my students miss. And so I printed, it out, printed them out so I can target those skills that they missed during my small group time. And so that's what I was doing all morning organizing my small group trying to get to the bottom of the skills that they miss so i can target those skills during so their centers time I, al groups. I also so developed some centers as well each rotation group is numbered that's what the numbers are for so in each rotation group they work in pairs and it's also color coded by the level that they fell under after they took their diagnostic assessment in reading and in math as well. So I have two separate rotation groups for reading and math. Every student really didn't fall under the same rotation group and the same color because they vary in subjects. Some of them are better in reading than math. Um, and some of them are more confident in math and reading. So, um, yes, so the kids know what color they fall under and what that color means. And it's easy for me to know how, you know, what they're working on when they are in these colors as well. And it's color coded by the amount of minutes that they need to spend on the online software as well. Um, so each color means it, it's dedicated to the amount of minutes they should spend daily on the computer for the specific software that they need. And so these are the groups that I also use to um, with my small groups as well. So I could target those specific skills they need. So the AC guy came into my classroom yesterday and ever since he came, it's been making this loud ringing noise, more noise than it's making right now. But he did say, the good news is, is that he ordered the part that um, is, is creating that loud noise and that he's going to fix it later on today. So hopefully this noise that you hear and that I hear and that my students hear, we won't be hearing it again for this year. So I am excited, I'm hopeful that this uh, situation, this AC situation will get fixed. So that's the good news about it. And so I did all that I wanted, uh, that I needed to do that was on my list of agendas, um, except for my library still. I don't know why I keep pushing back my library. I think because it's very functional and the students are still, um, they're still able to maneuver through the library. It's just not to my liking in terms of um, visual appeal. So <laughs> I know that's the reason why I'm pushing it back. It's because there's not a dire need. It's not going to interfere with my students learning. Um, whereas like creating the groups and creating my centers that are skills based and based off of the data, I'm more so focused on that aspect of it. So 
So yeah, so today was basically based off of responding to the data that I received from the assessments that, that st my students make and that my students tested on and just making sure that I respond to them and their needs. So I'm just gonna end it here and I'll see you on the next one, bye. Hi, today is Thursday and yesterday was teacher's planning day so I didn't have that many things to do um, when I came in today. But I know today we're going to continue to study um, and focus on our reading and reading was to focus on answering and asking questions and today um, I'm gonna use one of the strategies that I used on that I saw on Instagram um, and with the sticky notes I used to do it all the time um, last year and today I'm just going to um, start that back up um, and sometimes the things that I see on Instagram and blogs that I read is just reminders of things that that I already did but it's like in that moment it's just a reminder to me so it's great that I can you know go to these types of um, online resources so I can um, be reminded of some different strategies that I can incorporate in my classroom and today in science we are going to be um, focus on the weather where the students are going to um, make their predictions on the weather for five days and then we're actually going to um, check out the weather and I know they they love science so I know they're excited about that and then in math we're still working on place values to um, place values up to 1000 so they're like masters at the ones and the tens and now we're getting used to the hundreds and thousands place value and so i know in science some of their plants grew and they were super excited about just them seeing like a little bit of the stem getting out from some of the beans but actually ooh, the sun is out some of theirs actually grew like literally overnight and i'm going to show it to you right now So I know when they come this morning, they're gonna be super excited that it grew like into a plant because most of them were doubtful. They're like, beans don't really grow. <laughs> um, and so they were, most of the class was shocked that some of their beans were actually growing from the soil, from the soil that we were studying last week during science. So hopefully I can film bits and pieces of their reaction. Um, but if not, I'll just check in with you later, and I'll see you then. Bye. Hi. Good morning. So I did not get to close out yesterday. I ended up having um, catching up with a teacher friend of mine who was going through some changes. She's, she's a third grade teacher, and... I think a couple of uh, vlogs ago, I was talking about how they were going to change our schedule. And um, that happened to the third grade as well. They started on, they started on Monday. They had a completely different roster of kids and a different schedule. And she was just telling me how much of a mess it was. <laughs> And I told her that we were gonna go undergo some changes as well. They were, they're, they're actually reshuffling our students. We won't be getting the same students that we started the year off with um, for reasons that they won't tell us and for reasons that we don't know. But um, I think that they are going to probably shuffle our kids either today or on Monday. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest and say I'm not looking forward to it because I've already built relationships with my current students and families, but I mean, if need be, I'll just have to rebuild relationships. Um, but the only issue that I have is that they're not giving us a specific reason why. Um, they have to reshuffle all the classes. Um, but anyways, um, I know that they will tell us a reason eventually. Um, maybe when we are 
meeting and planning on research shuffling our classes so today is Friday and usually on Fridays I I um, have my formal quiz like throughout the week I'm always assisting my students doing quick quizzes exit tickets just so I can see what where they are and if they understood the lesson but for today I am going to do my spelling test um, a review of the math skills that we've been doing this past week and our reading assessment as well so I don't know if I will be able to um, check out but if I don't see you soon I'll see you on the next one so thank you for watching um, I'm still trying to I'm getting used to you know talking in front of the camera um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.